Hi, this is David McCann for Elementor 360. Showing a map on the Contact or About Us page is pretty common. Likewise, a map makes a lot of sense for an office, a restaurant, or event. Google Maps has been the de facto standard, but in 2018, Google started requiring an API key. The rub is that to get an API key, you must set up an account complete with billing information. Google provides a generous 15,000 views for free each month, but supplying a credit card is a barrier to entry for some people. And if you're building sites for clients, asking them for their credit card information can be awkward. OpenStreetMaps is a free alternative to Google Maps. No account required. OpenStreetMaps may not have as many features as Google Maps, but it's easy to set up and in many cases it will be good enough. Dynamic OOO quietly added a new OpenStreetMap widget to their offering. This is a quick walkthrough to show you how to use it. I have a test site here. I'm using the free Bloxy theme. And if we look at the plugins, you can see I have the free version of Elementor, Elementor Core activated, and I have dynamic content for Elementor installed and activated. I'm going to create a new page. We'll call it dynamic contact us. And I'm gonna set it to use the Elementor Canvas template. I'm going to go to the Bloxy settings for the page title and disable the page title. I'll go ahead and publish that. And now let's edit it with Elementor. Let's take a look at the Elementor template library. I'll type in contact. And I just want to show you that you can see the map there, see the map there. Like if we preview this one, See the map there? So many, many of these Contact Us pages has a map widget. Let's go take a look. Let's find one for the free version of Elementor. Let's take a look at this cake shop one. Okay, it's got a map here. So I'm gonna insert it. Okay, here's the address in Brooklyn for our cake shop. You can see in their demo template, this address doesn't match, but that doesn't really matter. You see there are two columns here. Here's the left column and the right column. I'm gonna go over here and remove the Google Maps widget from the right column. And now I'm gonna search for maps. Okay, so here's the Google Maps widget. Here's dynamic Google Maps widget. And here's the new dynamic OpenStreetMap widget. So I'm going to add that in. Okay, by default, it's showing probably the headquarters for Dynamic. But let's copy this address here. And then let's put it in to the location text box. And you can see we've already now switched the map just that fast. And note that there's the option here for using dynamic data. So if you had, say, an events custom post type, or you had multiple restaurants and you wanted to have a page for each one, you could pull the address from the database. So that's a nice feature there. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. That looks a little bit better. Should I try one more? Okay, so that looks pretty good. You can see that we can add some CSS filters and then you can adjust the margin and padding and use other of the extensions. For example, if you needed to position it in a particular way, or you wanted to have a border around the widget or something like that. But I don't need to do any of those. So I'm just gonna save here and let's go take a look on the front end. Here's a page. Here's our address information, and here's the map. It was just that easy. If you want the user to zoom in or zoom out, that's easy to do also. Okay, so we've done the walkthrough to show how to use the widget. Now for some discussion and conclusions. If you compare the Google Map and OpenStreetMap widgets, you'll see that the Google Map is more what we're used to seeing, and the OpenStreetMap looks a bit more basic. The OpenStreetMap API does support more features than are currently available in the widget. Another comparison with a dynamic Google Maps widget is that the Google version allows you to show a marker for more than one location. 
It would be nice to be able to show markers for more locations when using the OpenStreetMap widget. However, this is the first version of the widget, and I believe that the dynamic developers plan to add the ability for multiple locations and perhaps more customization options. Still, even with the limitations, the OpenStreetMap widget is extremely easy to use, and the dynamic data options mean you can use it in templates. It's nice to have the OpenStreetMap option so we don't have to go through setting up an involved Google project and we don't have to enter any billing information in order to show a simple map on our Contact Us page. Overall, I was happy with the OpenStreetMap widget. It's one of the features that just works. So that's the walkthrough and discussion of the dynamic OpenStreetMap widget. There's a text version of the video available on the Elementor 360 website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. I hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching.